happy reset day. It's time to check our vaults. I have a ton of characters to check today, so I'm pretty excited. We got a pretty good bit done on every single one of my characters, all the way down to my rogue. My rogue I won't be opening in this stream, though, or this video, I guess, because it's for my Zero to Hero challenge. So we're going to be looking at, what is this, six characters? Some of the characters I only got like one key done, some I got four, some I did raid finder, some I pugged raid, some I raided with my guild, some vaults I totally filled. So we're gonna kind of work our way up the list, starting with like the least impactful vaults and then working our way up. So I did start gearing, I started gearing my paladin. So we'll start with that. Oh man, lag for days. All right, people are starting to flood in. Uh, Creation Catalyst opens up in one week. So we have one more week of not being able to really do anything about tier outside of vault and raiding. And then soon we'll be able to actually control where we put our pieces and how we spend our currency. Now I did start gearing the Paladin. My Paladin is still in basically M0. I haven't played my Paladin in what, like probably like three weeks, but last night, last minute whim on a whim, just like did a 10 court of stars with some guildies went really well but we're gonna just set this to prot and open it up again for this class specifically just really anything that's a higher item level up so i'll pretty much take anything we get here and we actually yeet out a big fat old ancestral beads ancestry beads which is actually pretty decent stats like haste mastery now i know a lot of people run laureate anyways but we will take this for now as an item level upgrade i'm okay with this be cooler if it was a weapon but <laughs> I'll take the beads. Where the fuck did they go? Oh, there they are. Sick. All right, we're gonna do the demon hunter next. I am at Court of Stars for some reason. The demon hunter also did one key. I did a 15 shadow moon with some guildies once again. So nothing really, I'm pretty much gonna be taking whatever I can from the vault. Eventually once my warrior and my monk are like fully geared, I'll probably start shifting more of the focus onto the Demon Hunter and the Paladin. But for now, we're just going to um, make our way to our vault. All right. Of course, we need to throw our gold pile onto into the pack of people. Boop. All right. And then we're going to just double check that we're in Vengeance, and we're going to open this up again. I did only one key, so pretty much whatever I get, I'm going to probably end up taking, unless it's like a duplicate item for some reason. And we got Tear. Holy shit. That's actually, wow, that's massive. That's replacing a 343 helmet. That's actually fucking huge. The stats aren't great on it, like really heavy mastery with haste. Uh, haste is fine. Not a huge fan of the mastery, but you know what? A tier helm is a tier helm. So that only, wow. I didn't expect that. That's actually fucking dope. All right. Uh... Unfortunately, the helm does not go with my transmog, but I feel like all these mounts are just going to be running around like crazy. So we'll just do this. Wow, dang. All right, fucking we're off to a great start so far. I'll take it. All right, next we have the shaman. Uh, if you missed my episode last week, my shaman is now probably my main raid character for the time being. Uh, our guild needed a healer to kind of step up when we lost one. So now I've been doing that. Uh, so all I did was really raid. I don't think I did any keys on this character, but we got my shaman got two mythic kills, uh, plus a full hero of clear. So I should have some raid slots available. We're going to probably loot as resto, I would imagine. And we're going to open this bad Larry up. I don't really know what I'm hoping for. Cause I kind of gear this like last second. Oh shit. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. So it's a mythic shield from the first boss, Aranog. It's crit verse, really good stats for the rest of Shaman. We also have a one handed intellect mace, which is haste first. And then I also have tier heroic shoulders, which are a pretty good upgrade, especially with like fairly good stats on them. Because we're doing mythic and because the shield drops fairly often, and I don't really have a great one hand currently. I think I'm going to go with the tier, though the shield is max item level. But the only problem is I don't have I don't currently have a weapon, but I do have I have one more spark available. So I could take the shield for a 415. I can go 
do my whatever, right? I can go do my little quest in Halls of Infusion, which I didn't do last week. And then I can make a weapon at like 415 if I farm out another, I don't know, seven of these concentrated primal foci. That's an option. The shield I probably won't replace anytime soon. The tier can still be farmed. It can drop. It's a pretty big item level upgrade. But like I could always get shoulders for Mythic Plus and upgrade them to 415 compared to these that are locked in at 411. So I think for the long game, I feel like I should be I should grab Flame Marshal's Bulwark, but I also have Raid Finder gloves, which I can then replace with these leech hands that are much higher item level and wear four set still. Hmm. I think the leech is actually really valuable in this situation, and this is farmable. I can always get this at a later date. I don't I might not get shoulders. Fuck. Okay, we're gonna go shoulders, I think, on this one. So then I can uh let other guildies take the other hero gear. So there we go. So we got shoulders. So what we can do then is I can throw these shoulders on, which then I can, means I can put on these male gloves crit versus leech, which will put me at 399. So that sh should, yeah, I think that actually does it. So that gives me a, a little bit of leech there. And I just realized that I'm not enchanted at all. So I got to go do that. And then I'll probably spend a little bit of valor this week. And then I definitely need to start farming like a bunch of keys to start upgrading some of this crafted gear to a higher item level. But the shaman, that's actually not a bad vault. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. All right. I do have my druid. I ended up again, once again, I think I similar to every other week, I think I did four or five keys. So I should have two vault slots. I didn't raid on the character this week. Again, I just like not a big fan of the druid right now. And when it comes to guardian, so I've just been laying low um any major upgrades not really we're just looking for basically item level i will open this as guardian though just to make sure we're gonna go here guardian gonna throw a gold pile Boop. and let's open this bad guy up i don't i honestly don't even know what i would want oh of course uh, unfortunately, pretty bad vault. So we have the option between a 415 ring, which is really heavy haste plus crit. But I already have a crafted ring plus jeweled signet of Melandra, so I probably don't want to take the ring. The shoulders are pretty big upgrade. It's from, it's a 411 on 379. They also have the speed on it for tertiary, and I can turn these into tier next week with the creation catalyst, and then I'll eventually be able to upgrade them to 415. They have that tertiary set on them. I think this is actually a really good, actually, you know what? This is a good vault. The crit haste aren't great stats, but I mean, I'm it's just such a high item level. It doesn't even matter. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Are they somewhere? Huh? 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 There they are. All right. 397. My druid's mog looks so good. I tier set still eludes me, but that's OK. If if I really wanted to try, I would just play the game more on my druid, but that's OK. All right. I'm doing the warrior next because uh, I've kind, I haven't given up on the warrior. I just have, I didn't play it a lot this last week. I went really, really hard on my brewmaster monk. My brewmaster monk did like, I probably did close to like 30 keys. I just like farmed my crafted uh, like gear through the primal concentrated focus. I was farming chaos. I was trying to optimize. I was obviously like catching up on valor. Basically last week was just a full week dedicated to the brewmaster monk. So this week I took it a little bit easier on the prop warrior. I think I, I I think I got a 20 done and then I got like four keys so I only have two vault slots I'm already 411 like I'm pretty high for not really raiding or anything and just doing mythic plus I have a lot of really good things already I have my whetstone I have a decoration of flame from mythic I have seal of fly all duty on heroic from raid I have I have three set currently so I think the best case scenario is gauntlets or helm would be probably the best case scenario. I have some crafted gear already in some of these slots. I have a weapon. I pulled a shield last week. I actually also am sitting on a leech weapon in my bag somewhere. A spell ba spell blade cut or spell bane cutlass. So honestly, I think I might end up upgrading this just because of the leech. But we will see. Let's pray for some tier. We're gonna throw three coins for good luck. And hope that we pull four set. Four set would be pretty dope. Pretty gangster. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Dear Heavenly Jesus. 
<laughs> Motherfucker. Okay, 421 pants, I have to take these, yeah. I also got shoulders, but I already have 418 shoulders that I took last week or two weeks ago. So, unfortunately, 4 set still eludes me. It was tier, which is good, but it's just a direct item level upgrade from the normal tier pants to the mythic tier pants. That All that means is I'm going to have to do some Puggin of Heroic, but that is A-OK. -okay. So, we'll throw these on, and then what I think I want to do is I want to go buy a Fierce Armor Kit. Unfortunately, I think they're pretty expensive. Fierce Armor Kit. Yeah, 6,000. That's all right. I'm never going to replace these, well, until next patch, but that'll still be some time away. So I'm now, holy shit, I'm 413. That's massive. Yeah, 415. I can reforge my boots probably to a higher item level. Yeah, dude, I mean, I'm just like, I'm kind of goaded on this character. I mean, my chest is still normal. My back is still kind of low. And then my helm is low. Ideally, I would get like heroic tier. Uh, like a heroic Razageth helm or something like that. Or I need to get just a better chest plate. And I can upgrade this cloak if I want to. It's really heavy crit though. I want a better cloak. I was thinking maybe spark, but we'll see. Alright, not bad, not bad. Last but not least, we have the Brewmaster Monk. I kind of went ham this week. So I was, the start of last week I was 392. After one week of uh, opening my vault and just like hard farming... Um, I've been pretty much able to get up to 408. I'm still wearing a ritual shell. Uh, I have a whetstone, which I was able to snag. I have, like, I'm pretty happy with the gear that I have. A lot of it's very crit-centric with verse as well. So it feels pretty good currently. Not too many complaints here. So I'm going to make sure I'm in Brewmaster. I can't, I only have two set, so I can't really get four set. I only did Mythic Plus, so I have no raid slots, but we'll see how this goes. Let's make sure we throw our coins. That's been pretty good luck so far. I'll make sure I throw two here. And throw it on myself. Ugh. I don't even know what these are, but... We have a very heavy mastery with crit ring. We have a high haste, low crit chest. And we have Gift of Radiance. That's kind of a discouraging vault, but that's all right. So here's my thought process. I'll probably take chest for now. I'm going to keep probably running my two set because I think the two set just provides a lot more value unless I can get a piece from like normal or heroic, like a tier item. And then... I will need to, uh, to, I'll turn this into tier next week. No big deal. That will replace my other piece. I just like this ring is not great. Uh, there's other rings that I want to snag. Ideally, Aranog, for example. But, and then Gift of Radiance, I just mastery stats it with unused holy damage. It, like, you think about this trinket, which does, it's a one minute CD. It does three uh, 30,000 holy damage to one target. And then you have things like a whetstone, which is 300,000 physical damage over six seconds to all enemies on a two minute cooldown. It's just like, how do these equal? So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take our chest here and I'll probably won't use it unless I can get my tier on another item. And then I'll catalyst this next week. That's the plan there. Yikes. Of course, out of all my characters got really good vaults, except the one that I really care about. So, all right, I'm going to throw this on just to, so I can trade it in the future. Um, and that's it. That is our vault. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with like everything outside of the brew pasture, but that's okay. We'll continue farming and working on this character. There is no spark this week, so you're still limited to your four sparks. Next week, we're getting inspiration catalyst plus another spark. So you're going to be able to create another 418 piece if you've been doing 16s or higher, or just another crafted piece in general, which is just gonna make things a little bit easier obviously the inspiration catalyst means you can fill out that last piece of tier if you need it so keep that in mind when you're choosing your vault this week outside of that it is a sanguine explosive week with tyrannical so make sure you're moving the mobs out of sanguine start moving before mobs die don't move as they die or after they die just really try to keep that in mind and minimize that sanguine healing explosive that's a healer mechanic for sure but good luck in your keys good luck in your vault and i'll catch you all in the next one peace